Hey guys, Stealth Warrior 36 here. And today we are going to be taking a little look at my airsoft unwrap wall thing. Okay, camera will stay still now. So, first, I'm going to start with uh, the guns up here, and then I'll work my way down to what you can't see down here. It's all my other stuff. So, first thing is I have this um, 870 full metal Masada or replicated after a Remington. It is spring. Um, it was only 70 bucks. The only drawback to this is it's pretty heavy, which actually isn't really a drawback, but the it's kind of hard to pull it back. I mean, really hard to pull it back. It's at least, it's like a 15 pound pullback, which is not pleasant. So I have to like <sighs> kind of put it, brace it sort of. But uh it fires well. Next thing is my real weapon that I really love so much. This was three hundred dollars. I'm not rich. I sold some stuff. But, uh, let me close this door. This is mag. It's a full, not full metal, but it says full metal. It's mostly metal. The upper metal Masada did not come with this optic or this grip right here. But uh, what's that? The optic was it actually twelve dollar, but very nice, high quality, uh, adjustable red dot holographic sight. Um, this is battery powered AEG, and it comes with some. It comes with a mid cap three hundred round mag. Um, what I like about this gun is it's very it's mostly aesthetics, but. Um, it's super modern looking, and uh, it's got this kind of cool thing to adjust the hop up, pull back system with a ambidextrous release, and it's got ambidextrous fryer selectors, ambidextrous um, mag releases. Also, it comes with a front sight right here. But I don't have to use that because I have this red dot. It's a little pin right there that you push in and it falls down. Um, the stock can fold in like this, which is pretty cool, but it's mostly if you're just fitting into somewhere small, because if you do this, it will just fall right back out. Uh, there's a the stock is telescoping, I think is what you call it. Because it's got all these different modes and uh, clicks. This is a cheek rest that I keep normal because my cheek is pretty much fine. Yeah, it's actually kind of difficult to get it out, but you can adjust it as you want. My next thing is my right hand man, my sidearm. It is a um, it's actually a licensed Beretta, like fully licensed Beretta. Spring, it is. It's pretty. It's spring. Uh, it's a pretty good gun. Uh. It's actually really reliable, like, 
I don't know, this, this gets thrown around pretty normally. It's been around here for a while. But it shoots pretty accurately and pretty far, like... Two fifty FPS, but that's not bad for a spring pistol. It wasn't that much. Uh, and my next thing, I have never actually fired before, because these BBs confuse me. I'm not sure what type of BBs this takes. It is gas blowback. I actually got this handle from this one right here. So I'll fix that. Um, nice little submachine gun. It also uh, comes apart right here into a little, I don't know, XBG is what it says on it. XBG, I don't know if that's a pistol. It probably sounds like one. It's pretty big, actually. Uh, gas. Magazine is really skinny. I'll show you that. It's got a little gas thing right there. Yeah, but I haven't. I've only fired it with gas. I don't have any gas. I don't really like gas as much because it requires cleaning often, and uh, gas costs a lot of money. And batteries kind of like you use them for a really long time, and then it might wear out. Don't take good enough care of it. Um, so right now I just have to grab my little thing. I'm sure this is very entertaining for you guys. Oh, also the stock can do this. It's kinda hard though. Um wait. It uh collapsible. It's kinda nice like this. Looks pretty cool. But, uh, again, probably not best suited for combat, because, you know, just a bit. Next, I have to move this. Maybe I could do that. Yes, it does. Uh, I'm gonna move the chair though. So, as you can see, I've got some stuff. So, do this one first. So, first, these came with my Remington, and they are little manuals that still haven't sat down and read all of them yet. They go 101 to 106, I believe. Yeah. Um, and it's just about airsoft in general and your gun and stuff. It's not really, uh, directed towards any gun, but it just comes with your first package, I guess. I don't know, kind of interesting, uh, really actually kind of useful. Uh, so right now I have a new, not new, I mean, I've used a lot of it. Box, it's a 5,000 premium six millimeter BBs that are biodegradable. I like